Yeah, thank you very much. Um, obviously, I was aware of the list for a few months and probably a few years now. Um, and yeah, you don't think about it too much. It's always in the back of your mind. But as you're picking people off, you start to look, oh, where can I get this season and one thing and another. So to get the 424th appearance and, and cap it off, obviously, with a good performance and, and the three points, more importantly, it's, uh, yeah, it's a nice feeling. In modern football, it's quite rare, isn't it, to, for a player to be able to, to be around long enough to, to get to 424. So what does it mean for you to do it for this club? Yeah, it's a real honour and I think not something I take for granted. I've been stayed at one club uh, for a long time. It's allowed me to have strong family ties off the pitch. You know, I've seen players come and go and have to move around quite a lot, which is something that I've never had to do, luckily, because it's not something I think a lot of the boys enjoy. So on that front, you know, I'm thankful. Um, but yeah, just to stay at this amazing club from not only the 424, but from being seven and you know, all the experience and things that have changed for the good and the bad and been through everything and you never get a chance to really look back and, and kind of not dwell on it, but look back and see how far you've come really. There's always another game and um, yeah, I think obviously now I'll look at that and I'll be happy, but it's like I say, the three points are more important at the moment um, and going again and hopefully following this result up with another strong performance and another three points because we... Uh, we need as many as we can get between now and the uh, end of the season. And you really needed this one today, didn't you? So how satisfying is it to come and get the three points? Yeah, we was, we was hoping for a strong start and a, and a strong first half. Obviously, they played on Wednesday, so it's not very often we've had that advantage this season. I think it's gone against us a few times with the results in quick succession. But um, no, we managed to start well, two really well taken goals. And then the second half was just about digging in and yeah, not pretty, but we don't we don't care. We got the three points and go back to um, Sheffield happy. How do you build on this because the club's been in this position a couple of times where the gap's been cut and you haven't been able to get it down to like a point or even get your noses out the bottom three so is this a big opportunity now to try and do that? It is it is isn't. but the manager spoke to us and he's put various kind of graphs up and things of how it's not just a straight line to success you know you're going to have peaks and troughs and we've experienced that like you say we've closed the gap a little bit a few months back didn't quite happen we showed a good resilience as a team and as a group and, and individuals really just to keep controlling what we can control and you know it's, nothing else matters other than winning because we can't control what the teams are doing.